Hello everyone, I am Mayank and welcome to our video on the decision tree ID3 algorithm. If you are new to machine learning or just curious about how decision tree works, you are at the right place. The ID3 algorithm which stands for Iterative Dichotomizer 3 is a method used to create decision trees which are tools that help us make decisions based on data. So in this video, we will explain how ID3 algorithm works in simple terms. We will start by talking about what decision trees are and why they are useful. Then we will dive into how the ID3 algorithm builds these tree by picking the best question to ask at each step. So this is done using concept like entropy and information gain, which we will break down so they are easy to understand. We will also show you a real life example of how the ID3 algorithms work with a data set. So this will help you see how it all comes together in practice. So by end of this video, you will have clear understanding of how the ID3 algorithm works and how you can use it to make smarter decisions with your data. So whether you are just starting out or looking to learn more about machine learning, so this video will give you the basics you need to get started with decision trees. So let's jump in and explore world of decision trees with the ID3 algorithm. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before we start, if you want to learn AI and ML from the industry expert, try Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This course teaches in demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and many more. So don't forget to check out the course link from the description box below and the pin comment. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what is a decision tree? A decision tree is employed in supervised learning is a tree-like structure designed to forecast the outcome of a variable target. In supervised learning, which relies on label data on containing known output variables. So these predictions are made through regression and classification algorithm. So these algorithms guide training a model with a predetermined output variable and by grasping uncomplicated decision rules based on diverse data features, the model learns. So Python decision trees prove versatile handling both classification and regression challenges, often they finding application in assessing probability. So now question comes, how does a decision tree algorithm work? So suppose there are different animals and you want to identify each animal and classify them based on their features. So we can easily accomplish this by using a decision tree. So this is a sample data with high entropy. So we have to determine which feature split the data so that information gain is the highest. So we can do by the splitting the data using each feature and checking the information gain that we obtain from them. So the feature that turns the highest gain will be the most used for the first split. So for our demo, we will take following feature into consideration like color, height, color and diameter. Then we will use information gain method to determine which variable yields the maximum gain. So which can also be used for the root node. Suppose color is equal to yellow. Then it result in the maximum information gain so that what we will use for the first split at the root node. So here as you can see that color is yellow for our first split of the decision tree. Okay. Then true and false. Right. So the entropy after splitting should decrease considerably. However, we still need to split the child nodes at the both of the branches to obtain an entropy value to the zero. So we will split the both nodes using height and variable less than 10 and height is greater than 10 as our condition. So results are zero. So this decision tree can now predict all the animal classes in the data. So now let's move forward to the ID3 with the example. So what is ID3? So ID3 short for Iterative Dichotomizer 3 is a decision tree algorithm invented by Rosso Quinn. It works by repeatedly dividing features into groups to build a decision tree. So here we will be using sample data set of COVID-19 infection. So as you can see the columns are straightforward. Y stand for yes and no and stand for no. In the infected column Y means infected and the N means not infected. Columns like breathing issues, cough and fever are called features. Why infected is the target column used for the decision outcome. Now, what are the steps for the ID3 algorithm? The first one is calculate the information gain of each feature. The second one is considering that all rows don't belong to the same class, split the dataset S 
into subset using the feature for which information gain is necessary. So third one is make a decision tree node using the feature with the maximum information gain. The step four is if all rows belong to the same class, make the current node as a leaf node which the class adds its label. And the fifth step is repeat for the remaining features until we run out of all the features or the decision tree has all the leaf nodes. So to calculate the best features of ID3 algorithm, we have two main character or you can say factor to consider. The first one is entropy. So entropy measure disorder in a data set, it identifies or quantifies the disorder within the target feature. So here is the entropy formula. So in this case of the binary classification where the target column has only two types of classes. So here entropy is zero. If all the values in the target columns are homogeneous means similar and will be one. If the target column has equal number of values for both the classes. So here we denote as entropy is calculated for our data set where n is the total number of class in the target column. In our case n equals to 2 that is yes or no. So p here pi is the probability of class i or the ratio of number of rows with class i in the target column. It is to the total number of rows in the data set. And the second thing is information gain. Information gain measures how much a feature reduces entropy, indicating its effectiveness in classifying the target classes. So the feature with the highest information gain is chosen as the best. So here is the formula. So here, SV is the set of rows in S for which the feature column A has been value V. Okay. Then SV is the number of rows in SV. And likewise, this S is the number of rows in S. Okay. So now moving forward. So as stated in the previous slide, the first step is to find the best feature. That is one that has the maximum information gain. So we here now we will calculate the information gain for each of the features now. But for that, first we need to calculate the entropy of S. So how we will calculate like this. So from the total of 14 rows, in our data set S, there are 8 rows with the target value of yes. This 8 rows of target value of S means yes. And 6 rows with the target value of no. And the 6 rows minus 6 rows, the target value of row. no. Here 14 is the total number of rows in our data set. And the entropy of S is calculated like this. Okay. So entropy is coming our 0.99. Here you can see we have 14 rows. Okay. So now, we have to calculate the information gain for the each feature. That is, first we will calculate for the fever. So in this fever feature, there are eight rows having value yes. See, eight rows having value yes, and six rows having value no. So as you can see in these pictures, in the eight rows with the yes for fever, there are six rows having the target value yes, and the two rows having target value no. In the two rows target value no. For the same. In this picture, you can see in the six rows with no, there are two rows having target value yes. This target value yes and yes. And the four rows having target value no. In fact, it means no, no, no. Okay, because why we are checking this? Because we are finding the infected, the people who are infected from COVID-19 or not. So now let's calculate the information game for the fever. So how we will calculate like this? Here, S is 14, total number of rows. Then V for V equals to yes, then SV equals to 8. How many rows are yes? 8. So this is how we will calculate the entropy for 0 0.81 for the no 0 0.91. So now after that we will apply the formula of so information gain formula is this. So here you can see our information gain is 0 0.13. So now next we will calculate information gain for the features cuff and the breathing issues. So you can use even the free online resources as well for the calculating information gain. So we calculate it with the same method. So here you can see for information gain for the curve is 0 0.04 and for the breathing issues is 0 0.40. So since the feature breathing issues have the highest information gain, then it is used to create the root node. So after this initial step, our tree looks like this. Fine. So now let's calculate same way information gain for the features fever and curve using the subset well as by set breathing issues is yes like this. So for fever it's 0.20 and for the curve is 0 
so information gain of fever is greater than the cup so that we have selected fever as the left branch of the breathing tube so now our tree now look like this okay left is fever because here fever information gain value is more than cup so next we will identify the feature with the highest information gain for the right branch of the breathing issues however with only one unused feature remaining it is automatically becomes the right branch of the root node so now our tree look like this left fever right cup the bigger value you have to put at the right sorry left and the smallest value you have to put at the right so with no unused feature left we proceed to create the leaf node for the leaf node of fever where both breathing issues and the fever are yes so all the target values are yes so we labeled as it as infected similarly the right node where breathing issues is yes and fever is no follows the same process so here not all but most of the values are no hence no or not infected becomes our right leaf node so now our tree looks like this see yes 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 infected yes and no not infected so we repeat the same process for the node curve however here both left and the right leaves turn out to the same that is no or not infected okay breathing issues if cough is, there is no breathing issues and cough is there means not infected no means not infected so this is how you calculate decision tree using additive dichotomizer 3 algorithm so with this we have come to end of this video if you have any question or doubt please feel free to ask in the comment section below our team of experts will help you as soon as possible thank you and keep learning with some staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career we've got you covered Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.